Good morning. Hello. Hi. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening is the right answer. Good evening. Or just hello. <laughs> yeah, yes. Hello is there. How was your weekend? How was your Valentine's? Uh, fine. In family, we we celebrated today a little bit. Uh, tired because I ran five kilometers. You ran five kilometers. Yes, I like to run. Yeah, yes. Good. How was how was your weekend? Oh, you know, for me, I'm married, so it was a normal weekend. <laughs> okay. Uh, excellent answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think only when your boyfriend girlfriend it has to be romantic because you know it's the tradition. <laughs> <laughs> you just but, simple. You just Mister. You just simple, like 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 me. Yeah, I had sopa de pata, man. Oh. Uh, nice, <laughs> nice. That 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 soup is nice. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Oh, it's, it's really nice good. if you find somebody who really makes. Yeah, you. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Hi, Cari. How are you? Oh. I am fine. I'm all right. Thank you. How is your did you do anything special yesterday? No, actually, no. No, you, okay. Until Wednesday, because yesterday it is, it was that, it's gonna be crowded. Crowded, it was. I heard that a lot of people were out in the street. Yeah, so we wanna wait until Wednesday. Well, okay, good. That's a good idea. Laura, how are you? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Evening. Thank you. Did you celebrate yesterday? No, not really. <laughs> All right, good. Juana. There's Juana. Or maybe she's busy right now. Maybe. Hello, Kelly. Right now, I am. Delicious. Hello. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry, Juana. Uh, right now, I'm very happy because I'm. I want to learn more and more, and stay with us. All right. Good. With 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 with, with my friends and you. Oh, thank you. You see, Juana always. <laughs> You get people around you happy. She put the boost in the group. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's nice to be in this class for me. You know, you know, Juana, for people like you, it's because sometimes I am not angry when I drive. <laughs> because maybe it can be somebody very nice and, you know, I get angry and no, so I don't. No, I it's just not good. For yes. the health first. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. Did you have a good weekend, Juana? Um, I have a very good weekend and I stay with my um, family. And okay, I called with my brother. He is in, in, in Canada. Okay. And we, we called with him and it was very um, um, happy because my, my mother... Uh, talk with him and we we felt very very happy because she was happy very good with, happy with the call yes and nice nice teacher nice okay class so today's week four we're going to start section four okay yes <laughs> all right so let me see if i can share my screen with you Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. yes All right. All right. <clears throat> so it says by the end of this lesson, practice participants will practice using reduced 
relative classes. Okay, so what are reduced relative classes? That's what we're going to see. Let's listen to the video, please. Hello, do you remember about relative pronouns? Who, which, that? Good for you, you still remember. Now we'll learn how to shorten relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Reduce relative clauses. You can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be someone who, that is, able to think quickly, might be a good surgeon. A person who, that is, looking for adventure, could be a private detective. A person who, that is, training music, might be a good DJ. You can also drop who or that and change the verb to the gerund. Someone who or that needs job security might not want to be a jazz musician. Someone needing job security might not want to be a jazz musician. In many relative clauses, who or that has can be replaced by with. A person who or that has a good voice could be a good TV journalist. A person with a good voice could be a good TV journalist. Once a relative clause is reduced, it becomes an adjective phrase. It is bound within a noun phrase and defines and describes that noun phrase. A person, noun phrase, working as a surgeon, adjective phrase, needs to be creative and smart. These adjective phrases must come immediately after the noun they are describing. They are not separated by commas. Complete these sentences using your own ideas. Share them in class and with us. Okay, um, let's go back here. Let's say someone who, or a person who, or a person who. Um, let me see here. Brian. Okay. In El Salvador, in El Salvador, what do you call a person who Who is the leader? No, no. In Salvador, what do you call a person who drives the bus? A bus driver? Good. Um, Yanira, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. What do you call a person who is the representative of their country. The top. Okay. Who what? Okay. What do you call a person who is the top representative of his or her country? President. Yes. Yes. It's the president. Okay. Good. Kelly. Yes, Chuck. What do you call a person who sells minutas? <laughs> <laughs> minutas sellers. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let me see. The person who sells minutas is called it's called minutero yeah, in spanish right uh, do you know how to say minutas in english no uh mm. is ice cone ice cone ice cone cone the cono ice cone okay 
High school. Yes. Eduardo, what do you call the lady or the man who is in the cashing machine in the supermarket? Maybe you can call it a, a, the seller. No, it's the one that takes your money. The cashier? The cashier. cashier? Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But what do you call the exact same profession in the bank? The, uh, in the bank? Maybe the banker? No. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm. The manager, the... no. 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 I don't know. Yeah. People say it's cashier and it's not cashier, it's teller. Teller. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me write that for you right now. Yes, teller. Uh, but, but 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 teller is more useful more useful for the bank, isn't it? It's only for bank. Uh -huh. De ahí viene el cajero, ATM, automatic teller machine. Okay. Ah, teller. Yeah, I don't know. Well, in Spanish, la cajera super selecto says cajera y la cajera de banco es cajera. The two are cashiers. Yeah, exactly. But yes. in English, for if it's for a bank, it's not a cashier, it's a teller. Okay. okay. Got it. And that's why people say ATM. It's the automatic teller machine. Or your good friend. Teller machine. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see the next. Okay, let's do the knowledge check. It says, Rewrite the sentence the sentences with reduced relative clauses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. Follow the example. Anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. I have a question. Has anybody done this? No. I do. Yes, I yes, teacher. I did. It was necessary. <laughs> yeah. The reason why I'm asking is because I saw many messages of people asking, and yeah, no but you know, <laughs> yeah, this is but... before today we start. Yes, but I know it was necessary. So I'm going to print the answers. This would be the correct answers. So the people that did it, did you pass it? Yes. Okay, so number one, it says someone who hopes to be a chef should get the proper training. Correct answer? Some, someone oh. hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Karen. Yeah, someone hoping. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. When we use a, a bird different uh, of the bird to be, we use uh, the gerund form. Is is correct? Yes. Like in this case. Oh yes, in this case, yes. You use it. Uh -huh, you use it in in, in gerund form in ing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, it says, anyone who wants to be an actor needs both talent and luck. So then the answer is anyone wanting, wanting to, to be, be an actor needs both and talent and, and both. Luck. luck. Yes. Number three, a person who works as a comedian is always looking for new ways to no, make people laugh. To make people laugh, yes. So a person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh, good? Yes, working as a, is always looking for new ways to make people People who are laugh. clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. People clever enough 
to get inside the mind of a criminal will make a good detective. So it's the same. A good detective. Yes. Drop who are. Yes, it's two people who are. Number five, it says anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of work. So anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Someone who is responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. Someone responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. Any sentence, any sentence using with teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. We don't. We don't have any any sentence. So everybody got them right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, I mean the last one I have grown, but I don't know sure why. Okay, no problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Who can give me a, an example? I'm planning, I'm planning going, I'm planning to go to Los Planes. No, 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 give me an advice. Oh man, in this moment, I'm planning to go to Popa. Oh. I'm planning to go to a Popa after class. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you're planning to go to a Popa. <laughs> okay. If you're planning to go to a Popa, you should be um you should be take well, care uh, yeah. take care of the of the the role of the way ah uh, yes okay so you should be careful you should be careful yes. on the role yeah. okay. Oh, yes. okay okay thank you thank you uh okay más algo más realidad yanira i'm planning to visit europe next week <laughs> that's great for that's you great, yeah <laughs> well but but remember there's a there's like a little problem in this moment with traveling yeah so tell mm -hmm. me how teacher if you're yes. planning mm -hmm. so yanira tell if me. you're planning if you're planning to go to go to europe you should to uh, do the tests to put the COVID test. vacuum. COVID test. COVID test. I should do the COVID test? Okay, good. COVID vaccine. The COVID test. Mm -hmm. Or easier, if you're planning to go to Europe, you should ask about the requirements. Oh, okay. Jay. Por cierto, hoy oí de que en Inglaterra, no importa quién entre, va a estar 10 días aislado. <laughs> with or with no COVID exam. Here or where? In Europe, in England. Uh, yeah, I have a friend in England that he couldn't, he is still there because he couldn't find a way to come, to return here. Wow. Okay. If you see no, put him. Um, Kelly. Mm -hmm. People or people working for money in the streets are called homeless. Maybe people no, working no, no, no. at the. I'm street. sorry. Let me change. Let me change. Clowns working in the street are called clowns working in the street. Uh, clown street. 
<laughs> okay, good. Or you can call them, or you can call them street artists. Mm. Would you repeat, please? Yeah, street uh, artists. clowns working in the street are called. Clowns. Mm. No. Clowns. No. Street artists. A street artists. Oh. Yeah, they're called street artists. Okay. Y ellos, ellos mismos se autodenominan así, o sea, si llenan un currículum de su profesión, artista de la calle. Mm. It sounds more professional than to say payaso. Yes. Ah, clowns. Clowns. Encargado de la staff y personal, documentos entrantes y, y de salida. Ocupación. Resumen, seguridad. <laughs> you don't want to check your, let me see your bag. <laughs> Laura. Yes. Laura. People who go to the watchtower are called Watchtower. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Um, what? What is that? El Salón del Reino. Huh? Ah. El Salón del Reino. Jehovah Witness. Yes. Jehovah uh, Witness. Ah, Jehovah Witness. Oh. Yes. La gente que va al Salón del Reino son llamados. Testigo de Jehová. Jehová Witness. Yes. Ah, aquí va otro dato interesante. ¿Saben de dónde viene la palabra testigo? No. Y no, no estoy hablando de testigo de Jehová, no, no estoy hablando de, reali de religión, estoy hablando de la palabra testigo. It comes from mm -hmm. testicles. Testicles? Yes, because before. Eh, en el tiempo medieval juraban y cerraban los estículos. O sea, eh, ¿saben cómo ponen la, la mano en la Biblia y dicen, la juro? Sí. Before, it was on the testicles. Oh. I, I don't understand. So, today, okay. in modern time, when you, you go... Yeah, when, when you go to court, you put your hand on the Bible and you yes. say, in that time, you, for men, I don't know women, but men, <laughs> there was no Bible. So <laughs> you put your hand on the, your testicles. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. Impressive teacher. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Mm. All right. The next, ustedes ven cosas que no sabía hace cinco minutos. No. That is no, a big difference. Really? No, Lish. <laughs> yeah, go to YouTube and put cosas que no sabías hace cinco minutos. Uh -huh. And okay. they give you like 30 random facts. Sabías? That's great. La palabra? Yeah, in five minutes. They use some cosas I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Sabías el origen de la palabra, no sé qué. Watch it one day in, in YouTube. Okay. Cosas que no sabías hace cinco minutos. That's it. It's, it's very good. It's addictive. Yo pasé como tres días clavado así. Hasta que, okay, no, 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 no more, no more, no more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let me see, Juana. Yes, teacher. The people who check you when you enter a bank are called? Mm, uh, uh, guard. The security mm. guards. Security guard, yes. All right, very good. Sometimes it's a nurse. I'm sorry? Sometimes it's a nurse. No, because I said when you enter a bank. 
Yeah, sometimes some banks there are north. north. Really? Yeah, yes. in Cuscatlan. At Santa Elena, it used to be a north. Oh my yes. God, I didn't know that. Yeah. America Central, That's it, right. there are north too. Okay. Yes. Thank you. For, but they check you? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. They check you for a different. Yeah, but. They check you for, for fever. Yeah, okay. Temper. Uh -huh. temper. Oh, okay. Yes, you're right. You're right. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. I called here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was, I was uh, strictly thinking about a security guard, like the people that check you. Hay una que me chequean, solo preguntan, ¿Anda armado? No, ¿a pues pasa? Yes. Can you imagine those securities? Do you have a gun? No. Okay, come in. Pasa <laughs> adelante. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's next here. Next, it says, in this class, participants will discuss personal creativity and practice the lesson vocabulary. Let's see what we're going to practice here. Creativity quiz. Do you know what is a quiz? A short, uh, short, short, short evaluation. What is a quiz in Spanish? Laboratorio. Yes. Thank you, Juana. Yeah, ya no oigo mucho laboratorios. Do they still exist? <laughs> mm, no. No. Nowadays it's called cortos. Corto. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Oh, my yes. God. We are old. <laughs> yeah. so Laura, Laura, yes, teacher. Yes. In my time was laboratorio. <laughs> yeah, in my time yes. was laboratorio. Okay, can I too. <laughs> Laura, you never heard laboratorio. Yeah, I okay. um in college I still heard that word. Oh, okay, good. Okay, yeah. In Just college Brian. or school? University. Uh -huh. <clears throat> good. Class, do you know what is the difference between college? Well, college and university. No, I mm. I always have that doubt. Okay, very good. The two are superior studies, okay? Uh, first okay. of all, college is superior. It's not high school. Y entiendo que aquí la gente dice escuela o colegio porque the difference is private or public. Uh -huh. But okay. in the United States, well, in English, in the United States, I don't know Europe, but I think everywhere, school is school. Okay. Yeah. Okay, school is school. It's private or, or public. So there's like a difference. Hey, where do you study? Oh, I study at George Washington Public School. Or I study at George Washington Private School. That's how you know the difference between colegio and escuela. But then you have after school, after high school, we have two things. We have college, then we have university. The difference is that college is three years and university is five or more. Yeah. Oh, it's like a technic technic technician. Technic yes. Uh, yeah. But the only thing that in El Salvador, el técnico literalmente es técnico. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, let me give you an example. And, and this, is why, this is why everything is very expensive. In, in the United States. My wife, she's a dentist, okay? Okay. Yes. So where she works, she has an assistant. There is an assistant in, in the clinic where my wife works. And the assistant, she has been an assistant maybe for 20 years. So oh. imagine the experience this woman yes. has. Yes. Yes. But I don't know why she got in her head that she wants to go to the United States because dental assistants in the United States make $20 an hour. And I say, okay, Esther, <laughs> number one, you can't go to the United States and say, hey, I'm a dental assistant, give me a job. 
pueden demandar al dentista. You need to be certified. Yes, you need to be certified for everything. I am an English teacher in El Salvador. In El Salvador, I am certified in INSAFORP, in FEPADE, yes. But in the United States, I'm not. So if I go to the United States, hey, I'm an English teacher. Yeah, okay, do, certified. That's college, three years. Okay. And it's good, it's good because, you know, then the competition is, there is no competition because you study, you study, you study. Okay. So I, I told my wife's assistant and I told her, look, yes, you may know a lot about dentists, but if you are not certified, a dentist cannot give you a job. No, pero yo a ver que yo puedo porque, okay, good luck. <laughs> so, <laughs> like mechanics. You can be a very good mechanic here, but over there you have to, o sea, you have to be certified for everything. Y la razón que es porque hay gente que no puede pagar universidad because it's very expensive. Yes. So, so the next option is college. So I want to be a dentist, but it's too expensive. So I will be a dental assistant. But still it's a good profession because you are a college graduate. Yes, that's the difference. Okay, Cari. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so now I remember when you say, you si quiere hablar del cole, colegio, que es high school, you just say my school or my high school. Okay? Yes. Cool, thank you. Okay, let me see. So let's listen to the video. So how creative are you? Take the following quiz and find out. Add up your score, then find out what it means. Do you agree? Add up your score, then find out what it means. Do you agree? Can you read? No. No. What about now? Okay. Uh, yeah. Better. It's better. Okay, better, number please. one, it says, are you a risk taker? Always, sometimes, rarely, or never? What are you? Rarely. <laughs> okay, write down, sometimes. write down your number. Mm, write down your number. Sometimes, uh, are sometimes. you a risk taker? Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm going to write my answer too. Let me see where is my. I want to see what I am. So, number one, I am three. I like taking risks. Okay. Number two, are you naturally curious? So, aquí va a Always three, sometimes two, rarely one, never zero. Do you look for opportunities to improve things? Yes. Uh, three, two, one, zero, okay. Are you sensitive to beauty? What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, are you sensitive to beauty? Am I reading correct? Yes. yes. I don't think that somebody's ever asked me that. <laughs> I don't know. Am I sensitive to beauty? 
I will put rarely <laughs> because I don't know. Do you challenge accepted ideas? Do you keep an eye out for new fashion and products? Do you know what that expression is? Keep an eye out? It's no. like estar atento. Uh -huh. Or literalmente es echar el ojo. Echar el ojo. Okay. Echar el ojo. Okay. Keep an eye out if someone comes. Okay. Okay, uh, number seven, do you adapt easily to new situations? I do. Number eight, do you trust your, your what? Your guesses, intuitions. Oh, your guesses, intuitions, and insights. Are you more interested in the future than the past? Do you have a creative sense of humor? All right, so now did you do yours? Let's add the numbers. Okay. okay. Let me see, I got, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times three is 21, right? 21, 22, 23, 24. I, I have 25. What do you guys have? 23. 20. Yeah, 20? Yeah, so am I. Yeah, so am I. All right, let's see what we are. Add up your score, then find out what it means. Do you agree? Tell your partner. You did not good ideas. All right, so number 21. If you got between 21 and 30, because you're open minded, you like to keep up with the latest trends and innovations. Accepting status. That is cool. Who that bores cool. you? You see mistakes as learning experiences. Okay, did somebody get between 11 and 20? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah? So yes. you often have good ideas, but you prefer to fill them out with friends before taking actions. You're up to date with new fashions and products, but unlikely to be the first in your group to try them. All right, did, some, did anybody get 10 and under? I did. You got a 10, let's see. No, 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 I get 20. Oh, you got 20, okay. Let's see what 10 is. <laughs> Let me see, <laughs> uh-oh. You prefer to stick with tried and true. What that expression means? Lo probé y comprobé. Okay which helps you feel safe, but you may get left behind in later years. You're constant? Content. Oh, content. you're content, thank you. You're content. You're content with who you are and what you know. So you're happy how you are? That's cool. Yeah, you know, I am, I am an, uh, I am a person. I am very outgoing. When I, like, I am the type of person. I am the type of person that I speak with all my neighbors, and I stay talking with them outside. And my wife is the contrary. She's very, very reserved. Okay. Are you like that? 
I mean, what, so what I'm trying to tell you is that sometimes opposite people match. That's funny. <clears throat> and it's funny because <laughs> when, I, when I see my wife, when I see her father and her mother, her mother is like, wow, you know, hi, everybody. You know, she, she talks to everybody. She calls everybody. <laughs> her father is nothing. He's like very serious. Okay. Very, very serious. He's a very good person. He's a very good man. I love him very much, but he's very serious. And one time I, I'm thinking, yes, but don't come on my battle, you know, because they're so different. <laughs> And then I stop and think, my wife and I, you know, we're so different. So sometimes there's no explanation. <laughs> yeah. Do you have contraries? Are you contrary to? Well, I don't know if you have a, a partner. Do you have a couple? Are you the same? Or are you contrary? I'm mainly contrary. <laughs> Yes, you have a boyfriend, Kelly. I have a husband. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're married. Yeah, I'm married. Uh, are, are you guys opposite? Yes. Okay. Yes. A lot of opposite. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, that's good. I, that's good because it's interesting. <laughs> but you know what? I think my son, my son is going to be like my my wife. Mm. <laughs> I always tell him, come on, son, say hi, salude, say thank you, hi. He's very quiet. He's very reserved. <laughs> hey, but that's natural, I think. Yes. Yeah. What about you, Carrie? Me? Yes. I have a boyfriend. Are you guys the same or opposites? Opposite. He's talkative, I'm quiet. Okay. Hey, that's good though. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Eduardo, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm married. Oh, you're married. He yeah, has but, a wife. <laughs> yeah, a wife. Yeah, but no, but to... you know, you can be married and you have a girlfriend. No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 because I think they they have to be op opposite. Yes, because it would be the same. It would be kind of boring. It's true. Gene yeah. and John. Everybody, everybody, has everybody. Has That's true. Yeah. Everybody has to be, but not very, very different. Yeah, for exactly. example. Yeah. Yeah. I am Aguila, and if my wife is Alianza, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I am Alianza, and he is fast. There's oh my. God. <laughs> but Did both you... are Barcelona, so we are okay with that. Oh, okay, good. There's a connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So did you go to the stadium? No. Well, that's good. Yeah, don't go. Okay, cool. And Laura, you're single, right? Because I remember you told us. <laughs> But if you ever have a, a boyfriend, try to get a, somebody opposite from you. You don't want to date yourself. Okay, thank you for the yes. advice. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to date myself. Me neither. Okay, uh, let's listen to this. It says listening exercise. Listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? So let's listen to the audio. Listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? One, Samira. Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect and the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. 
What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy. You know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. 3. Naomi I'm an interior designer, so what I do is go into people's homes and create a suitable environment for them. You know, my clients, they don't know what they want, so I have to look at their homes and help them decide what would look best. Not every idea works in every home. You have to match the appropriate idea with the right place. So after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. Sometimes they don't like my first idea, and boy. That can be frustrating. You have to start all over again. So I need creativity to both come up with the ideas and to communicate them. Creativity also comes in handy when I want to convince a client that my idea is the best one. I don't always succeed, but I do manage to get my way a lot of the time. Okay, so what is Samira? I'm an architect. She's an architect? Um, yes. All right. Alex? I'm business owner. I, I wrote their... business owner, but it was wrong. Yeah, I me, don't. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Me too. I see that. Um, what about owner. Naomi? Interior um, designer. designer. Okay, I will put the answers in a, in a second. Instruction, listen again. So who's, who likes to stay on top of trends? Uh, Samira. Uh, Samira. 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 Yeah. Answer the phones. Uh, Alex. Alex. Who works long hours. Samira. How clients decide what looks best. Naomi. 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 Wait, let's do this. Okay, well, let's see. So Samira is an architect. Yes. So yeah. these are the possible answers. Architect or architect or she is an architect. Cool. Or she is an architect. <laughs> or she is an architect. No. It's small. A small Almost. business owner. Yeah. A small business owner. It's, it's small. <laughs> so he's a small business owner. But you know what? Okay. Business owner is business owner is it's okay. Ah small business. Small business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes. <laughs> rarely, rarely to say negocito. Negocito, yes. yes. Nobody says, oh, I have a very small, just, no, yeah, people say in Salvador, yeah, oh, I have my business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, negocito. <laughs> All right. A small business owner. Number three, Naomi, interior designer. 
Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. We got that one right. Okay. Yes. So stay on top of trends, Samira. Yes. Answers the phones. Alex. Alex. Works long hours. Samira. Samira. Helps clients decide Naomi. what looks best. Naomi. Naomi. Think about the competition. Alex. 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 And present ideas to clients. Naomi. 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 I like that name, Naomi. <laughs> There was a famous model. Do you remember her, Naomi Campbell? Yeah. Hey, do you remember Christy Thurlington? No. She she has, uh, I don't remember, Salvadorian Ruth? Yeah, yeah her mother is Salvadorian. Uh, you know, um, Christy Thurlington? Okay, Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, and Christy Thurlington were really the first three models like super most stars. models yes and they started the the model business yes and um christy thurlington is salvadorian yeah these are I'm, no parece para nada salvadorian but, um, <laughs> but she says oh yeah i'm salvadorian she's proud oh yes yeah, she, she's proud yeah. of her yeah. roots yes roots Um, all right, do you have any questions here? No. No. Okay, now we're going to do exploring possibilities. Okay. Let's see what possibilities can we explore. Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Now, let's learn the following vocabulary. Verbs, analyze, find, organize, explore, make, solve. Nouns, a mistake, a situation, alternatives, information, a problem, a solution, possibilities. Let's discuss some questions, then ask your partner. Don't forget to use the new vocabulary. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Following. Get crazy. <laughs> you see, you see. <laughs> I, I can't get it off. <laughs> hey, it doesn't refresh. <laughs> okay, there you go. So let me stop. Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Now let's learn the following vocabulary. Find organ. Okay, analyze. When do you analyze something, Kelly? Well, for example, when I have to to do us or to give a solution about that, then first I have to analyze and choose the best solution. All right. When do you use the verb explore, Eduardo? Well, when you when you have a, for example, a, a homework or a job that, that, you have, that, that you don't know what to do, you have to explore find out the, the answers, uh, yeah. find the answers uh, and the new ways to go to, to, the, to the project. Very good. So you have to explore your opportunities. Yeah. It's true. Yanira, can you tell me when you, give me a verb, use uh, a sentence using organize. 
organize um, I need to organize my my work or my 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 activities okay very good Juana can you give me an example using make uh, I I make a, a decision. I made a decision um, at at work. Or okay, every day I, I at work I make decisions. Good. I, yeah, that's yeah. true. In your position, you're you're always making decisions. Correct. Yes, a lot, <laughs> a lot. <teacher. laughs> All right. Okay, so that's that's pretty much. You see, make. Decision. So mm -hmm. decision would be the noun. Organize yes. in my work. Analyze. I'm sorry, what's the example for analyze? Analyze the financial information. Uh -huh. Okay, explore your options. Okay, find help. Mm -hmm. Yes. Examples like that. Or find uh, solutions. Find solutions. Solve the problem. Yes. You know, sometimes people tell, you know, like bosses, they always say, don't, don't give me problems. Give me solve solutions. Yeah. Give me solutions. Yes. Harry. It's better. Harry it's Bob. common <laughs> <laughs> to listen this um, phrase. That's true. Yes, but it's easy to say that. But sometimes mm -hmm. it's difficult to do it. Yes, yes. teacher. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, you. I'm sorry. No, many bosses say, say or say, try, try to be proactive. Yes, mm -hmm. you have to be proactive. Yes. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> do, como es que dicen, do as I say, not as I do. Mm, do as I say. Not as I do. Mm. O sea, mm. Haz lo que yo te digo, no lo que yo hago. Oh, <laughs> <chivo. laughs> a mí me decía eso mi mamá. Like, do what I say, not what I do. Why? Uh -huh. Because I'm your mother. Why? Uh -huh. I can't, no, okay. Yeah. Because I say so. <laughs> I, say so. Uh, uh, I say it. Y después me iba de la casa a los ocho años. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Y al, cuando llegaba así a la calle, me cerraba la puerta. Ah, mamá, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, class. I thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a happy Thank you, Tuesday. teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night.